Wow, the next big thing in MRO, well, you know, everybody talks about big data, and it's probably an overused term, but I think MRO is evolving. Uh, the new generation airplanes, they don't generate the amount of maintenance requirement that you used to have from the older metallic analog kind of airplanes. Composite material doesn't corrode like, like metal material did. So the amount of labor hours that you have to put on an airplane have changed significantly. The systems on the airplanes have changed. They've become much more digital. And so the capability of the industry has got to change. It's got to be much more uh, digital proficient. They have to be much more digitally capable. Uh, I think the next big thing in aviation is not just what's big in aviation, but it's big in the world of mobility. So I think um, what we're going to be trying to do in the future uh, is move people much more efficiently, and really the only way is up, I think, virtually. Um, not virtually, effectively. <laughs> and that's going to be through the use of, I, th I, would, I would put my money on EV toll aircraft, electrical vertical takeoff and landing jets. Look, I think the next big thing in MRO is actually really focusing on what brings value to the end customer and working together on how we share data into a common ecosystem uh, so that we can solve problems for the end customer, our airlines, in a much quicker order. Um, and I think this is the next big thing. And when we wake up together that we're working off a common approach, I think we're going to create a much stronger, uh, much stronger value equation for our customers. I think it's the continued development of the data analytics and combining everything. So the one factory from design to operation back to the factory for the, for the repair, one continuous cycle and quick analytics and improvements. There seems to be a lot of interest in data ownership out there. People want to have the debate about it. And I think the more relevant question is who's best positioned to do something with the data? Data ownership is a little bit like I have an aluminum mine. That's great. Unless you have a plant which can take that aluminum out of the ground and can manufacture parts or turn it into a useful product, it really doesn't serve a purpose. So the more relevant question to my mind is who's best positioned to take that data, turn it into knowledge, and that knowledge which provides a better service to the customer. Data ownership, I think, is a, a, a conversation that doesn't really get to the heart of what we're really trying to address. What we're really trying to address is the value that we actually create and part of that is that we have to create an ecosystem where our data can be shared, but do it in a way that protects that data so that those that own those pieces of data understand how we're securing it, how we're making sure that we're meeting all of the privacy standards and requirements, and protecting IP, uh, both Airbus IP and what we're protecting for our customers and for other actors that are coming on board. Well, I think that we're <clears throat> working hard with all the players, the airlines, the, <clears throat> the aircraft OEMs, and we're working to balance that out. And I think in the end, the win-win is if everyone cooperates and we work towards benefiting the industry versus benefiting the individual companies or operators. I think, look, there's a lot of actors in the MRO space, um, and it's really just about getting uh, solutions to the customer as quick as possible, um, whether that's uh, parts and inventory or that's uh, logistics or it's uh, things that we're doing around uh, digital uh, services and capabilities to help them make decisions faster. I think that's, uh, so what, it's, it's not a negative that keeps me up at night, it's more the opportunity that keeps me up at night, thinking about how do we help solve those quicker um, using our digital capabilities uh, as we go forward. I think it's the continuing growth of the industry, the incorporation of data analytics. Where we're going with that, is the business going to revolve around data analytics? And how will we balance that out? The industry with the MROs and the third party providers. I think that, you know, first of all, the focus of our industry is safety. Number one, do we have the right processes in place, the right oversight to ensure the continued safety of our products out there in service? And just the industry record itself speaks for that. I mean, I think we do a good job, but you can never be complacent. You can never uh, rest on your roles. You have to be diligent and constantly focused on that. I think then the next thing for me is how do we make our employees 
jobs easier. How do we help them get their jobs done in a quicker, more efficient manner? Speed is key in this industry. How do we take advantage of the, uh, the data that comes off these airplanes? And at Boeing, we use uh, Boeing Analytics to be able to do that, to bring those tools to our employees and to our customers, which help them more effectively maintain the airplanes.